The new ARC rules, also known as record creation and update rules, there's a few parts. Not prepared. On, uh, let, let's let, let's start at the top level. What are ARC rules? So an ARC rule is something that we can use to keep track of all emails that come in and out and create a case if it meets a specific criteria. I have done a few of these and the most relatable one is help desk. Um, if you don't know what a help desk is, that is when you would send in an email to like the IT department maybe saying, hey, I need a new monitor. Um, and instead of having, you know, all of IT constantly go and look at that mailbox, we can have Dynamics go and grab those email messages and create cases and assign those cases to IT peeps. It makes it a lot more easier and that makes it so they use all of their efforts instead of dynamics instead of multiple places. Um, in order to set up a ARC rule, you kind of have three really important pieces, a queue, a mailbox, and the ARC rule itself, also known as automatic record and update rules. <laughs> ARC rule is just a lot easier to say, so that's what I say. Um, mailboxes can be a little tricky to set up, and it's always a good idea to go ahead and set up your queue first because that will in fact create a mailbox for you um from there though you need to make sure that your mailbox is active approved enabled and tested and i believe you need to be not system admin global admin in order to approve said so said mailbox um I also really want to warn you guys that you should really only have one email uh, address tied to an environment. So for Woodside here, we had a help desk dev incoming email, a help desk test, and then the actual production one. Otherwise, your environments will be fighting over which mailbox should be syncing where you can't sync across all three environments it's only one at a time um once you have your queue set up and your mailbox enabled you can create a record creation rule and tie it to said queue and again the queue just keeps track of email messages coming in and out um you can go ahead and create a record automatic record creation rule it's pretty pretty simple building it out on this page in my opinion you give it a name you tell it what queue to monitor so which email messages are we going to be keeping an eye out and making sure we know what and how to make a case the filter criteria saying okay is this something we should make a case for and then an auto reply saying something along the lines of hey thanks for your response someone on our team is working on it um the part Scott had expressed he had some trouble getting working is this part right here, which is the flow part. So before and olden times, before my my time here at Journey Team, it sounds like in in place of a flow, you guys had workflows. Um, I'm a fan of flows over workflows. You just have a lot more power. But before you go and create a case and do something in a flow, I could talk about in a second what you would normally do in said flow. You're going to want to make some conditions to make sure that you're not creating a case for every single email, unless that's what you want to do, that goes in or out of said mailbox. So we had some trouble when we built this, you know, over a year ago, getting the filter criteria right. I think this is now built in. Don't quote me on that, but I didn't have to do this for some of our other clients. 
And basically I'm saying only create a case for incoming email messages, right? So all of my replies, those aren't gonna get a case. <laughs> and make sure that it is not an auto reply to or from itself, which also had happened because people would reply all and um, do a reply all to the auto response down below. It was just creating a mess. So a tip for you guys when editing the flow on an arc rule, really try to make sure to deactivate your arc rule first. Otherwise, you will likely run into some trouble um, making sure that the flow will trigger at a later time. It's just something I've picked up on um, and then you have to turn it back on and like many things in Dynamics, it takes a while. So here's the flow. I'm not going to touch anything because this is their production. And we have modified this one. And the gist of it is we don't want in this particular scenario anyone to send in a request to help desk and create a case if they are not a Woodside employee. Right? If some spam bot gets a hold of this, we don't want 5,000 cases. So we do, you know, a child flow, we check. We also make sure down below that it's part of a conversation. And if it is, we're not going to create another case for it. Um, for other clients, the flow is really useful because they weren't ever interested in creating a case and associating it to a contact. We only want it associated to accounts. And that was very easily achievable in flow. Um, another scenario was making a post in a team's channel, sending out emails to like maybe a team to let them know a new case has come in. Um, the scenarios are pretty endless. The only other tip I have is to listen to, oh, they don't say it anymore, right here. Yeah, don't rename the steps if they say don't rename them. I think when we first started, we ignored that and we tried renaming them and it was a pain in the butt because it, we don't know where it touched down below. Uh, what's up, Mark? Well, have you? can we do it with other tables too besides case? Um, I've only ever used case. I know queues can monitor more than just emails, but oh, I don't really want to touch anything. This is their prod. Well, that's fine. But when um, you're creating the, like, I guess when you created the arc yeah. rule, did it default to case or it do you remember? It defaults to this? case, but it okay. looks like this could be a drop down. If this was unlocked, there might be okay. more options. Um, they, they I don't are. know off the top of my head. What are there, Smitty? What are the there other are, options? There are other options. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but yeah, I think you can do like leads or opportunities or something else. Yeah, yeah. I'll pull it up and I'll put it in the chat. Cool. Brandon, yeah, no, and that's that's good because it does take out a lot of the, <clears throat> or even like a lot of companies have web pages that do a form submission. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a good solution possibly for things like that to OK, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the gist of it. You can have multiple conditions here, too, and make these pretty complex and have multiple flows trigger based off of different conditions, which can be pretty helpful, too. Um, the automatic reply is just an email template you can spin up. Over in the advanced tab, you can change these little yes, no's, you know, so if you want to allow emails from someone not part of an account, lead, user, you can, or you can filter it to just people you know, quote unquote, no. Um, yeah, the, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that the scenario where I've used that is they, they may get requests that come in from people who are not contacts. Mm -hmm. Right. So you could say, yeah, in this particular case, I want to go ahead and create a new contact record yes, and associate correct. the case with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and another thing that I've done several times in the flows is uh, the step you had that says 
you know, do not delete or rename, do not rename where it creates the case. Um, I will set the case type. Uh, and then we can use that case type with the routing rules to determine which queue it should go into. So you can service more than one queue based upon the type of case that's being created. Yeah, cool. Uh, oh, did Brandon post that? You can monitor, and it's just not email, and then mm -hmm. I'm doing a screenshot. You can basically create whatever you want in the system. Yeah. Um, maybe I misunderstood the question. So you can monitor different things, but do you always have to create a case was the question. No, you oh, don't. You just drop the other one in there. Mm -hmm. Cool. My phone was slow, sorry. There's a whole bunch. Um, yeah, I've never done anything besides case and email. If somebody else actually has done something other than those two. I would be kind of interested to hear about what you've done. Oh, Mac, what did you do? <laughs> Hey, um, yeah, I was just curious if did you build these directly in production, Lisa? Yeah, did you... that is another okay. thing with these. Um, that's what I was wasn't sure if that's changed yet. I I guess I haven't tried to do a push because I know there's ways to do that. Mm -hmm. I just know we did run into trouble in the past getting those to work. Yeah. So making them directly in production really cut off like four hours of time, if not more. Yeah, I've, I've never had any luck pushing them in a solution. I always just recreate them. Yeah.